and we'd make it something that would be far more embracing, not only for our family, but for every grandmother. And, and what we had in mind was just to select the oldest of our four families. Uh, Bill and I have two sons and two daughters who many of you will meet today. And we thought we would take their firstborn and we'd have the four children sculpted with me. And the day in which we unveiled the first of those sculptures, the next in line, they were at this stage three or three and a half year olds, burst into tears and said, where am I? <laughs> so, of course, I said to Bill, you know, we can't stop here. This, this cannot be. So we now have 13 little people in the garden and, and Linda has in total um, actually finished 16 sculptures for us. I've chosen the words that I want to express to Amelda yet. <coughs> it, it may take me a day or two because I didn't quite realise that that, was, that sculpture was being uh, organised there this morning. I understood that it was a nice floral piece that uh, Wendy was going to do and I relied on her to do that because she's very capable and contributes substantially here. And so standing there and, <coughs> and all of a sudden this, this sculpture appears. Linda, I thought you owed me more than to keep a secret like that too. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> but thank you, Imelda, and thank you to the family for, for that. <coughs> and I hope you've evenly and, and appropriately divided the cost of it among yourselves. <laughs>